Hello everybody and welcome to this very second video on the vlog series. For today's um, speed painting I will be doing this little tiny illustration that I had planned for the stories that I'm doing on my Instagram. And the concept behind this is that I wanted to make something, uh, an illustration that communicated um, a little bit of innocence and also to represent like someone's humanity. And that's because I'm, I usually just do portraits or the like the character of the of the piece of the story that I that I'm developing but as of late I thought that it would be a neat idea to include a little bit more of narrative in my art because I feel like that can add so much more interest to your pieces I mean you can really tell as a as a spectator and as an artist when someone has a bit of a backstory behind their pieces even if it's not as obvious as you might think it is and I feel like that's something that's been missing from my pieces for a, quite a while now. And so uh, in order to fix that, or in hopes of fixing that, I decided to do a bit more of a concept development for this piece. I mean, it's still not like the greatest uh, masterpiece ever, but I did include a bit more story behind this character. And I wanted to have not only like her face be the focal point, but I wanted to have her interacting with something to communicate a bit more of a better backstory. And so I decided to paint a little girl. And that's just because we often uh, relate kids to like innocence and to pure things. And so it really fit very well with the character that I had to create for this part of the story. And so what this basically meant is that you are, or like the character in the story, which is like you, you're faced with this part of yourself that you weren't aware of that you had, which is your humanity, and you've always like taken that for granted. But then suddenly when you consume like this uh, infected meat, you faint, and then after you convert to something else, like something that's not human, then you get in touch with this part of you that tells you that you're that you're about to lose her and I don't know it was just something that I wanted to do to make people question themselves like how there are so many things that we take for granted in our lives that can be like as as basic or well not as basic but as present and as common to us like our humanity and our feelings and all of that so yeah I wanted to do that with this tiny illustration also I was thinking about yesterday that I'm really excited about this project that I'm currently doing. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, but I didn't have enough time to do so. Now that I do have more time, I'm really excited about it, but also I'm kind of scared of it because sometimes when you overwork a lot or you're like pushing yourself all the time, you're bound to get burnt out. And I feel like that's one of the most dangerous things you can do as an artist because like for regular people burning out can be just as easy as well I'm gonna take just vacations for I don't know a week or something and then everything's going to be back to normal and that's usually the case with a regular job or a regular activity but when it comes to art and something that involves your creativity I mean not just art but also it could be uh, I don't know crafts for example or something that you have to put your creativity into then it becomes a bit harder because you have to remember not to blame yourself that it's not your fault that you can't produce good work because that's something that usually happens when you burn out you usually start producing work that you are not happy with and you start seeing all the mistakes that you did and start forgetting about the things that you did right and you think that you are getting worse instead of improving. And I feel like sometimes burning out can be a level up kind of thing. Like for example, when you're not very happy with the things that you're producing, I feel like that's when you're about to, to get like a big leap of improvement because that means that you're not happy with your with your current skills and that you're in the transition of going from like something that you don't like to something that you probably will enjoy better. I feel like burning out is an essential part of being a creative person and you have to learn to deal with that but there are grades to it and so you have to really try not to get super burnt out because if you do so then you can fall into depression and all of this stuff and then add that to like your personal life also has an influence in your in your professional life and for example if you're not doing very hot in your paintings or in your drawings and then on top of that your personal life is also going through a rough time then you can easily fall into a spiral of negative thoughts and that's something that I really want to avoid but also I feel like if I stop producing these videos or if I were to stop or if I were to to like burn out and 
and not feel like doing anything then I will feel like I would be wasting my time and that I would like you know that feeling you get when you know you have to do something and you haven't done it yet I would experience that feeling 24-7 I believe if I were to just give me a break so I have to really start finding a balance before this happens because once it happens well the only thing you can do is deal with it there is really no turnaround from that point but if you manage to identify when you're going into that direction then maybe there is steps you can take to make everything go a bit smoother or a bit easier for you <laughs> I don't know how to really say it but yeah I think I it's important to find balance in your life in all of the aspects of your life not just your professional life but also your personal life and that's something that has me kind of worried right now because I don't really want to go through that process and so yeah hopefully I won't be needing to take a break in a very long time what I'm planning to do is to like give myself time during the weekends to have them like free because that's the time when I usually hang out with my family and with some friends so I feel like that's a very important and part of everyone's life to have social interaction and we as artists can sometimes forget about this and really isolate ourselves from the rest of the people so in hopes of avoiding this burnout uh, phase I will try to just leave some days to rest and to recover like my creative juices and everything and to fill up with ideas and then um, after that I will just keep on grinding even if I have to do like two videos a day I think that's better than than doing one a day and then not having any free time to do whatever I please so so yeah we're getting to the end of this video and I hope you enjoy it and if you did then please do leave a like down below and a comment telling me if you've ever experienced this burnt out feeling and also if you want to check like behind the scenes shots of my work then you can totally go and check my social media I'll leave all the links down below and yeah I'll see you tomorrow